Greetings to everyone. In the previous video, we have seen the basic rules for naming the heterocyclic atoms. If you are not aware of the rules of nomenclature, the link is in description, check it out, learn, and then see this video. In this part, we can apply the rules of nomenclature that we have seen in the last session. And name the compounds accordingly. The nomenclature of the heterocyclic ring, is based on the type of ring, whether it is fused, or unfused one. Now, we can see the nomenclature. For unfused, three-membered ring system. Starting with this, consider this ring, the heterotom present in this ring is oxygen. So the prefix OXA, is used. As it is three-membered ring the stem is IAR. And finally as it is saturated. The suffix ANE. Is used. Now we got OXA plus IAR plus ANE. Using the rule the last vowel sounding alphabet A is removed from the prefix. OXA. The name becomes OX plus IAR plus ANE. Finally. The name is. Oxyran. Another example. Here for sulfur the suffix is THIA. Three membered so IAR. And being a saturated ring. An. Is used. THIA plus IAR plus ANE. Removing the last vowel sounding alphabet from thia. We get thilne. In this oxa. Plus. IAR plus unsaturated ring so N is used. Finally oxyrene. Now let us look for four-membered ring oxa. For oxygen. ET for four-membered ring. ANE for saturation. OXA plus ET plus ANE. Removing. A we get oxetane. The next example is Aza for nitrogen atom et for four-membered ring. Look carefully. The suffix here is iodine. Because of a special rule, iodine is used for only nitrogen containing, fully saturated. With three, four and five HCr dot Aza plus et plus iodine. Finally acetidine. Moving on to five-membered rings. Oxa. For oxygen. All. For five-membered and N. For saturation. OXA plus OL plus ANE. Oxolin. Aza. For nitrogen atom. All. For five-membered ring. And iodine. For saturation. So azolidine. Aza. For nitrogen. All. For five-membered ring. E for unsaturation. Numbering it. First position for nitrogen. In this molecule it will be little confusing to give number. In this case. The saturated atom is very reactive. Than unsaturated atom. So the saturated atom must be given high priority during numbering. As saturated atom gives out, a hydrogen atom, attached to it easily. So number 2, 3, 4, and finally 5. In the third position there is hydrogen atom. So it can be called as 3, hydroazole, then 5 membered ring with two heteroatoms. This is one three diazole. In this example OXA. For oxygen. AZA. For nitrogen and all. For five membered ring and E for unsaturation. OXA plus AZA plus all plus E is equal to oxazole. Here the oxygen is given first priority. And then nitrogen. 
numbering it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Finally we get 1, 3 oxazole. Last 6 membered ring system. Aza. For nitrogen. In for 6 membered ring and E for unsaturation. Aza plus in plus E is equal to azine. Now. Just pause the video. And try to name. These compounds and evaluate yourself.